ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you are in special education at school or if you are a special education teacher or a special education teaching assistant, you have to deal with the challenges of fire drills. The students freak out when the alarm goes off because of the sound the alarm produces. Sometimes the flashing strobe light, but mostly the sound that comes out of the alarm. And teachers are going to have to tell the students, remain calm, get out in a calm, orderly fashion. The teachers have a lot of work to do when these drills occur. Okay, students, get out in a calm, orderly fashion. The reason why the majority of special education students run out the door when the alarm goes off for the drills is because the alarm scares them. So what special education teachers need to do is tell their students that there is going to be a fire drill so they can take their students outside before the alarm goes off so the alarm doesn't scare them. Special education parents need to communicate with special education teachers and special education administrators that The special education students need to be taken outside before the alarm goes off for all of the fire drills. How are most special education students taken outside before fire alarms go off for school fire drills is because they have it written in their IEP saying that they will be taken outside of the building before the fire alarm goes off for a fire drill so the alarm doesn't scare them because think of this some special education students have sensitive hearing so sensitive that they do not like the sound the alarm produces so, they need to be taken outside before it goes off for the drills. Or even ban horn strobes from the special education classroom. And throughout the entire school, ideally, but especially in the special education classroom. And put in speaker strobes, a.k.a. voice evacuation systems, instead of horn strobes for school fire alarms, especially in the special education classroom. So these drills are easier to deal with. Having an alarm that talks instead of an alarm that makes a very loud sound really improves our behavior during these drills. You need to tell them the reason why fire alarms are loud is because they
need to be loud so they can be heard, especially in a noisy building over all other noises in the building so people can get out of the building safely if heaven forbid there was ever a real fire in the building. So that is why fire alarms need to be loud. Especially in a noisy building like a school. Think of this, there is a lot of noise in a school. Machinery, music, people talking. That is why fire alarms need to be loud so they can be heard over all other ambient noises in the building. So people can get out of the building safely in a fire emergency. Bye.